NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. In this video, we are going to discuss about the armature reaction of Singerus machine. The outline of the topics are first, we will discuss the what is armature reactions. Then, we will discuss the armature reaction of Singerus generator under various loads. Then, we will discuss the armature reaction of Singerus motor. Finally, we will discuss the previous questions from the topic. Okay. We will discuss one by one. First, what is armature reactions? Armature reaction means effect on field flux by armature flux is called as armature reaction. Already we know that the basic construction and operation of synchronous machine. In the synchronous motor, in the rotor side, DC supply is given. So, DC flux, field flux is produced by the DC supply. Then in the center side, three phase AC supply is given. Due to that, the armature flux is produced. Okay. The field flux is produced by the DC supply in the rotor side, and the armature flux is produced by the AC supply in the stator. Okay, this is the basic. The main field flux affected by the armature flux. That defect is called as armature reaction. Okay. At synchronous machine, both generator and motor, field flux is produced by the DC excitation at the rotor side. So, in the synchronous generator, here by the field flux due to rotor rotations, the EF induced in the stator side due to the induced EF armature flux produced. Okay. But in the synchronous motor, 3 plus AC supply is given to the stator due to that armature flux produced. Okay. The armature flux react with the field flux so that the resultant flux may be increased are decreased. If it is increased, it is called as magnetization. If it is decreased, it is called as demagnetization. Okay, this is the basic concept of armature reaction. Now, we are going to discuss about the effect of armature reactions in the synchronous machine. Before that, we need the basic points. So, for generator, phase angle between the induced TMF and flux is 90 degree. How is that? We know that EF induction law. E is equal to n into dy by dt. So, rate of of flux. So, it is equal to j into n pi. You may replace dy by dt by j pi. Because by applying Laplace transform, dy by dt is equal to s into pi pi of s. s equal j. Okay. j means 90 degree. So, the phase angle between the induced EMF and flux is 90 degree. This is the basic points you should know. Okay. Then for motor, the phase angle between the induced back EMF and flux is minus 90 degree because the back EMF opposes the flux produced by it e is equal to minus n into dy dt. That is equal to minus j n phi. Minus j means minus 90 degree. So, the phase angle between the induced back EMF and the flux is minus 90 degree for motor. This is a very basic fundamental points. Okay. This is the phase angle relations. Then, the armature flux. The armature flux is directly proportional to the armature current. Okay. So, armature current produces the flux. So, current is directly proportional to flux. Armature current is directly proportional to the armature flux. So, armature flux and armature current is in phase with each other. This is the basic points. Okay. Now, we will discuss the armature reaction of synchronous generator under various loads. First, we will discuss the resistive load. Unity power factor. We know that for generator, what is the phase angle relations between the induced EMF and field flux? It is a 90 degree. EMF and field flux is 90 degree. Okay. So, now, for resistive load, if resistive load is connected, induced EMF and armature current are in phase. Because unity for factor. Resistive load, current and voltage are in phase. So, the armature current is in phase with voltage, induced EMF. Okay. Now, we know the basic points. What is the relationship between armature current and armature flux? 
armature current and armature flux is in phase so you may redraw this okay now what is the relations between field flux and armature flux 90 degree each other armature flux and field flux are perpendicular to each other so it is called as crash magnetization then for purely inductive load if zero lagging power factor inductive load is connected what will happen what is armature reaction we know that the phase angle relations between the induced of and field flux is 90 degree okay then for inductive load what is the relations between current and voltage and degree lag for purely inductive load armature current 90 degree lag with induced voltage so we may read out like this this is armature current this is the induced stream of armature current 90 degree lag with induced voltage due to the inductive load okay we know that armature current and armature flux are in phase with each other okay this is armature flux armature current and armature flux are in phase with each other now the field flux and armature flux are opposite to each other what will happen the resultant flux will be decreased if we combined armature flux and field flux the resultant will be decreased so the effect is called as demagnetization then for capacity loads zero leading power factor pure capacity load okay power factor is zero similar concepts we know that the phase angles relations between the induced emf and field flux is 90 degree for generator for generator okay now for pure capacity load armature current 90 degree lead with induced voltage we know that for capacity load armature current 90 degree lead with induced voltage okay so we, we draw the base angle this is the armature current is 90 degree lead with the induced voltage then we know that the armature flux is in phase with the armature current okay now the field flux armature current are in same direction so the resultant flux will be additive increased so it is called as magnetization okay summary for resistive load the synchronous generator act as a cross magnetization for purely inductive load this synchronous generator gives demagnetization effect for purely capacitive load magnetization effect happens okay this is the concept next we will discuss the armature reaction of synchronous motor we know that the synchronous motor will act as resistor inductor and capacitor based on its excitation how sir we will discuss in the next video under under excitations what will happen under over excitations what will happen we will discuss in the next video okay now if synchronous motor acts as resistor what is armature reaction okay so same concepts we know that for motor the phase angle relations between the induced back EMF and flux is minus 90 degree because the back EMF opposes the flux produced it. Okay. So these are the relations. Induced EMF leads. Okay. The relations between the induced EMF and flux is minus 90 degree. Okay. Okay. Then if synchronous motor acts as resistor. Unity for factor, it will act as unity factor. So, the for unity for factor induced EF and armature current are in phase. So, we redraw this. Now, we know that the armature flux and armature current are in phase. So, this is armature flux. Here, the armature flux and field flux are perpendicular to each other. So, it is called as glass magnetization. Okay, good. Next, if synchronous motor acts as inductor. What will happen? We know that same concepts for motor, phase angle between the induced back of and flux is minus 90 degree. Okay. Then for inductor, lagging for factor. The armature current is 90 degree lag with induced voltage because the synchronous motor acts as inductor. Pure inductive load. Zero lagging for factor. Okay. So redraw this armature current. Here armature current is 90 degree lag. Armature current is 90 degree lag with induced voltage. Okay. Now armature flux 
and arms are corner in face which is each other okay here field flux and armature current are in same direction so the resultant field flux will be increased strengthened okay so it is called as magnetization okay then if synchronous motor acts as capacitor same concepts for motor phase angle between the induced emf back emf and flux is minus 90 degree okay good so capacitive load the capacitive load means armature current 90 degree lead with the induced voltage okay this is the lead this is armature current 90 degree lead with the induced voltage now we know that armature current and armature flux are in phase so read out the armature flux direction now field flux and armature flux are in opposite directions so the resultant will be decreasing so it is called as demagnetization okay summary for synchronous motor for resist load cross magnetization if synchronous motor acts as resistors cross magnetization okay both are same second point for zero power factor lagging load for zero power factor lagging load in synchronous generator the armature reaction effect is demagnetization if synchronous motor acts as zero power factor lagging load then armature reaction is magnetization okay inverse for zero power factor leading load armature reactions in synchronous generator is magnetization if synchronous motor acts act as zero power factor leading load the armature reaction is demagnetization okay then for lagging power factor load so not a zero power factor load okay any values for that case the synchronous armature reactions in the synchronous generator is partially demagnetizations for lagging load demagnetizations so partial demagnetization and partially cross magnetizations if synchronous motor acts as lagging power factor lagging power factor means not zero okay any values for that case for lagging load magnetization so partially magnetization and partially cross magnetization for leading power factor any values for leading power factor magnetization so armature reactions in the synchronous synchronous generator is partially magnetization and partially cross magnetization if synchronous motor acts as leading power factor load partially demagnetization and partially cross magnetization this is summary okay now do it yourself i listed three questions the first questions from tneb a examinations the second questions from gate examinations third questions from staff selection commissions j examinations okay just pass this videos solve this questions and command your answers okay continuously watch our channel definitely you will get the good knowledge and you will get the good marks in the competitive examinations okay good thank you thanks for watching click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification like comment and share